Okay, so this is part two of the uh, field flattener issue that I had. And um, I'll put a link to part one below. But um, <clears throat> So I just received this the other day. And I'm going to show you uh, what they did and uh, what the explanation was as to what was on that lens. So as you guys know, when uh, AP packages something, they do a hell of a good job. And uh, they make sure nothing's going to happen to it unless it's ran over by a tank. So we can see here that uh, they put the field flattener in a box, inside of a box, with peanuts. So here's the uh, field flattener in the box that was inside the shipping box. So here's the field flattener that was cleaned by rolling. And this uh, goes to my Astrophysics uh, 175F8, serial number 28. So I had sent a uh, link to my first video to show uh, George give an idea rather than trying to explain to him over the phone uh, what was going on with the lens and I also sent it out to the group in case any of you guys knew what was going on or had that issue but uh, so on uh, March 15th of 18 Roland uh, or I'm sorry George says it looks like moisture deposit leaked from the side of the lens moisture evaporation leaving the deposits Roland will be back next week and can, re and can review the lens now I had never uh, used this when I received the uh, scope in November of 2012. I've never had a need for the field flattener yet. Never did any imaging where I needed it. And I bought some adapters a few weeks ago. And I thought, well, let me dig out the field flattener. So it had never been used. It uh, sits in a back bedroom with all my other optical stuff. So when I got home from work that night, that would have been uh, March 15th of 18 here I um, decided to try something and uh, I took a q-tip and gently passed it over the uh, perimeter of the lens where those where that was and it actually smeared so I knew it couldn't have been water because water when it hardens like that over time would would basically you know you'd have to wash it off or it wouldn't smear like that so the next clip that I'm going to show you here was done on March the 15th when I got home late from work I had some time to to give that a try and so you're gonna see that next and you can see that that is smearing So what ended up happening was the following day, uh, the 16th of March, I um, we didn't work that day, so I had time to ship it back to Astrophysics. They gave me return authorization number, and I shipped everything back. But um, for Roland to take a look at and, and assess the issue. So a couple of the questions that I had... Um, that I presented to astrophysics was does the field flattener need to be stripped and repainted internally to get rid of the bad paint to alleviate this problem in the future uh, number two if it does not get repainted will this issue come back what would stop it from returning down the road uh, number three does the 175 serial number 28 have the same paint internally and number four, will my 175 have this issue? And uh, number five, what in the paint caused the issue? And I just kind of questioned, was it outgassing? Okay, so here's what the answer was to the uh, issue with this field flattener. Now, I uh, spoke to George on Tuesday, April the 3rd to 2018. And um, <clears throat> George uh, said that the answer to all my questions that I showed here previous, those five questions, is no. 
Uh, he further said that the field flattener paint does not need to be stripped. And um, <clears throat> he said that he thought that it was caused by assembling it too soon that the paint hadn't fully dried or cured. That was his thought. Uh, quote, he said, oil leak of the paint, unquote. And um, he further said, quote, something in the chemistry of the paint, unquote. And, quote, said, nothing to worry about, unquote. So, um, <clears throat> also said, quote, has zero implications for anything else, unquote. And stated that my field flattener was the only one that there was a problem with. And uh, none of the other ones had it. And he basically called it an anomaly. So, um, also, I, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Also said, uh, I asked him, you know, about the paint. Was it the same one used on the 175? And George said, quote, probably not, unquote. So, again, that's why <clears throat> when he talked about water stains, it just didn't look like it. That's why on the evening of the 15th of March is when I used that Q-tip. And when I saw it smear, I knew it had to be an oily type substance. It appeared to be that initially when I first did the video and uploaded it. That's what it looked like. It didn't look like a heart, uh, water stain. Um, so that kind of confirmed what my thoughts were. So anyways, <clears throat> they took care of it. Uh, Roland took care of it. Looks beautiful. And I appreciate their help. They packaged it up uh, excellently. And uh, I received the field flattener here on April the 6th, 2018, which was a Friday.